Hey people, how are you all? My name is BlackKnife686. I'm here again with another Vaults tutorial. And as I said in the last video, this time we are going to go through how to make the bigger and more destructive explosives. The 13 of them, to be precise. The 11 sort of mid-range to powerful explosives and the two hyper explosives that will literally screw you over if you detonate them. So, we're going to start off in this chest here. I'm going to show you how to craft them this episode. Then next episode, we're going to go through how they go boom boom. So, for this first chest, we have Contagious Explosives. For this one, we, this probably would help if you watched my first tutorial on how to make the seven grenade explosives first. Then come and watch this, just to say that you might know how to make most of the stuff. So, we start off with four chemical explosives in a sort of cross with rotten flesh in the middle that will give you two contagious explosives we go down uh, one here and you see why do we have note blocks that is because we have a sonic explosive now for this you need a uh, note blocks in the same formation as up here in a cross a repulsive explosive in the middle and bronze plates around the four corners that will give you a single sonic explosive now over here we have a breaching explosive. To make this you will need free gunpowder in line, free gunpowder in another line. In the middle of those two lines, condensed explosives. That will give you two breaching explosives. So we move down one more here. We have a thermobaric explosive. This is fairly powerful and quite fun to use. This is made of four chemical explosives in the four corners of your crafting table. Uh, four incendiary grenades making a cross with a repulsive explosive in the middle and that will give you a single uh, thermobaric explosive that is chest one of four and then a single chest on the end move on here we have an EMP explosive anyway, to make this explosive you will need four redstone in the corners of your crafting table with uh, batteries making a cross these batteries can either be fully charged, like these ones are here, or they can be not charged. They can have zero kilojoules of energy in them. It doesn't matter for the recipe, just to show I put them like this. Then in the middle, you have a repulsive explosive. That will give you a single EMP explosive. Now, move across one. We have an exothermic explosion. You need a single glass block in the middle, and surrounding it, you'll need eight Insinuary explosives. I went off a bit there. It's eight insinuary explosives to give you a single exothermic explosive. Now I'm going to miss out the one in the bottom left for the moment. We're going to go down to this one, which is an endothermic explosive. Now we have an attractive explosive with a cross of snow. It has to be snow either side of it with ice filling up the four corner slots. That will give you a single endothermic explosive. Now. If you've played Volts before, you might know what the, the grenade I've missed out is, but we're going to move on to it anyway. It is a nuclear explosive. Yes, nuclear. Okay. To make this nuclear explosive, you will need uranium. So there's uranium. You put it around a thermobaric, as we made earlier, explosive. That will give you a single nuclear explosive. So this chest, the third chest we're going to move on to today, this has got some of the interesting uh explosives in. So we start up here with the anti-gravitational explosives. What you need is eight eye of enders surrounding a repulsive explosive that will give you a single anti-gravitational explosive. If we move down one we end up with the ender explosive. Now for this recipe you will need two ender pearls either well, on top and below of an attractive explosive with end stone either side of it. So, moving on to the final explosive for this chest, we have a hypersonic explosive. Now, to make this, you literally just need a full cross of sonic explosives that we made in the first chest. So, that's it of the light explosives, this including the nuclear explosive, that's very powerful. But now we're going to move on to the very powerful explosives that should be detonated with great caution. Yes, as you can see here, there's quite a few steps you need. Well, there's a few steps you need to make uh, a few of these explosives. So here we have an antimatter explosive. We'll need to make this explosive one gram of antimatter all the way around 
a nuclear explosive, so it's very expensive. Now, to make this one gram of antimatter, first you need 200 milligrams, five to be precise, five 200 milligram uh, antimatters to make a one gram. So it is very expensive. It's 40, uh, 40 lots of 200 milligrams to make this explosive. Now, I can't show you how to make these 200 milligrams of antimatter because, to be perfectly honest, I haven't a clue how to make them. Not at all. It's not in the recipes how to make them, so it's something you just have to look at yourselves. Or now, antimatter is a pretty big explosion, but nothing near red matter. There we go. To make red matter, you will need to surround an antimatter explosive with strange matter. And the strange thing, ironically, with strange matter is I don't know again how to craft it. There is no actual crafting recipe in the quick crafting recipe select list of this mod. Now, dark, there we go. So we've covered all the types of explosives now, but you'll be, you might be thinking, if these explosives are quite big, I don't want to be anywhere near them when they go off. Luckily for you, there is a way to get around this. It is called a missile module. Now, if you, well, as I show over here, if you, for instance, put an antimatter explosive with a missile module, it will make an antimatter missile. And this will be a future video coming out on showing you how to make rocket launch facilities and how to make uh, rocket silos that will launch rockets and do stuff like that. That will be a video coming out soon. But to make the missile module, you'll need uh, steel ingots arranged in this formation with a basic circuit in the middle there and a single coal at the bottom. That will make you one missile module. And it's one missile module per explosive you want to missileize. And I think every missile is equipable like this. Now, if you've played Volts before, you might realize that I have missed out an explosive and it's not because I've forgotten, it's because I'm waiting to do a small little video on that in the future. That video will be on uh, rejuvenation missiles and they are quite important. So I need to do some more stuff with you to show you what to do with that. So hopefully this uh, guide has been in informative and a little bit helpful. And I hope that uh, there will be Volts Worlds throughout uh, Minecraftia just blowing up with loads of antimatter explosives. Not for the people you're bombing, of course. That's not nice at all. But yes. My name has been Black Knife 686 This has been Vault, and stay tuned for more guides coming in the future. Thank you, goodbye.